quick tip on how to set your gauge blocks together. There, this tip, a lot of people I've seen use gauge blocks do not follow this. They just kind of throw them together and then they'll check slots with it or they'll set their boring gauge with it and that is not how you do it. This is, first things first, you want to be sure to be very, very clean. And how you are clean is you use a piece of paper, just a standard white piece of paper. And you take your gauge block and you just wipe it on the paper. Now you want to be sure to use a flat surface, like a surface plate or something under it. And if you can see that dirt, that's coming off your gauge block. So you set, you set the ones that you've cleaned aside and then you move on to the next one. So just use a piece of paper. And then you can either use, and I know it kind of sounds like a joke, but it really does work, forehead grease or put a gauge block on your elbow. What you're doing is you're getting the oil off of it and it, it kind of helps it stick together. So I just wipe my elbow on it and now the gauge blocks stick together. So if you're having issues with the gauge blocks sticking together, be sure to keep them very clean and also put a little bit of oil or grease on it from your body. That's the quickest source. So it just, all it does whenever you push them together, it's just pushing the air out. And the reason that paper cleans gauge blocks so well is because of the tiny little pores inside of the paper. And you don't want to do it on a rough surface like a wood table. So try to use a flat surface because the gauge block's flat. So that is how you clean and stack a gauge block set together.